Neonatal liver disease in children is rare, but most children present with prolonged jaundice. The majority of normal babies are jaundice, but this is prolonged jaundice. Um, PFIC um, is even rarer than the other forms of, of liver disease, and it presents, unfortunately, in a very similar manner. So all the forms of liver disease present in a similar way with jaundice um, and failure to thrive. The big discoveries about PFIC have really only been in the last 20 years when we've been able to look at the genetics of, of this disorder. And in general, children who um, have PFIC, their parents are carriers for the disease, but um, don't have the disease themselves. So it tends to be more frequent in intermarriage, into first cousin marriage. And that, of course, is much more of a cultural likelihood in certain communities. So in the UK, the main communities that are affected, not exclusively, but the main communities that are affected are um, from Pakistan or Bangladesh or from the Middle East, although obviously it can affect other, other ethnic minorities, but they tend to be the most of the children. And so the children will present with jaundice. In time, it'll be noticed they're not thriving. And that's because the defect in the disease and prevents the excretion of bile salts from the liver. Now, this is a really important discovery that PFIC is due to a problem with the transport of these bile salts from the liver into the bile duct and then into the bowel. This means two things. One is that the bile salts are toxic to the liver and cause progressive liver damage, but also for a growing baby, it prevents the absorption of fat, that's fat-soluble vitamins, which they need for health, vitamins A, D, E, and K, but also they can't absorb the fat in their mother's milk or any formula milk, so they don't grow. In time, as they get a little bit older, we notice these children very irritable and scratching and wriggling about in the cot, and that's because they are dreadfully itchy. They have the most awful pruritus that you have ever seen, and as they get older and can scratch, they often um, scratch their skin and leave it bleeding. So it's a really, really difficult disorder. From the diagnosis point of view, unlike the other forms of liver disease, a particular liver enzyme, gamma GT, GGT, is low. In the majority of liver diseases um, presenting like this, it's high. So we immediately know that the baby um, has a, one of the PFIC types, which there are five or six described, and is really genetic analysis that then tells us which one it is.